Next. The information related to XYZ Company Limited for the year ended 31st of March 2020 are as follows. Equity share capital 50 lakhs and uh, face value is 100 rupees. 12% bonds of rupees 30 lakhs. The rate of interest is provided 12 percentage. So this 1000 rupees is the face value of the bond. Sales is given. Fixed cost excluding interest is given. DFL is given. Profit volume ratio is given. Market price of the equity share is given. This is also given a name as P0. P stands for the price, 0 stands for year 0, that is right now. Income tax rate is 30 percentage. You are required to compute the following. Operating leverage, combined leverage, earning per share and earning yield. That is the way the four questions are provided to us. I want you to calculate answer of the first question and second question on your own. Only the first and second one. So friends over here, question is providing the information about the sales. Profit volume ratio is there. So sales into profit volume ratio will give the answer of the contribution. The amount of the fixed cost excluding interest is given. So contribution minus fixed cost will give EBIT. Once we have the contribution and EBIT, we can compute the first answer that is B O L and based on that so we can make further calculation of answer. So please write an answer of the question. Working note number one. Calculation of contribution. In that Sales into profit volume ratio. Sales of the company is an amount of 84 lakhs into profit volume ratio is 25 percentage. That comes to an amount of 21 lakhs. So the first of all contribution can be found like this. Working note number 2, calculation of EBIT, it is contribution minus fixed cost, so it is 21 lakhs minus the fixed cost excluding interest is given to us in the question 7,50,000. Seven lakh fifty thousand. That is thirteen lakh fifty thousand. So answer of the first question wherein we have to find D O L. It is contribution upon E B I T. The amount of the contribution is twenty one lakhs divided by E B I T. That is thirteen lakh fifty thousand. That is one point five 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 like that. So one point triple five six. We may write even one point fifty six. It is acceptable. Second part of the question. Next, second part of the question. DCL is equal to DOL into DFL. What is DOL value? 1.556 into DFL which is given to us in the question. It is 1.39. So 1.556 into 1.39. So the answer is 
That is the way the DCL can be found. Third question. Third question says that say you are required to compute the EPS. Calculation of earning per share. In that, working note number one, calculation of EBD. We understand that so the degree of financial leverage is equal to EBIT upon EBT. So EBT is equal to EBIT upon DFM. The amount of the EBIT is thirteen lakh fifty thousand. upon 1.39 so the answer comes to 9,71,223 this is the way the earning before taxes is calculated next calculation of earning per share Earning before taxes nine seven one two two three. Earning after taxes, income tax rate is given to us in the question is thirty percentage. So earning after taxes is seventy percentage. Nine seven one two two three into point seven. So six seventy nine. Eight hundred fifty six. No preference given information is there. Divided by number of equity shares. Share capital is of fifty lakhs, and face value is hundred. So it is fifty lakhs divided by one hundred. So the answer comes to fifty thousand. And based on that, so we can compute the earning per share. It is six seventy nine eight fifty six upon fifty thousand. So it is thirteen point fifty nine or thirteen point six zero. That is the way the EPS can be calculated. Right on answer. Do not write anything. Let me just discuss and let me just explain you something. Now, friends, uh, as a student, you may have. You may have an inclination to do working of the EPS like this. That sir, we already have found contribution. Sorry, we already have found EBIT. That is thirteen lakh fifty thousand. Then sir, information is provided to us with which we can compute the interest. That is thirty lakhs into twelve percentage. That comes to three lakh sixty thousand. In that case, earning before taxes thirteen lakh fifty thousand minus three lakh sixty thousand. This is nine lakh ninety thousand. Income tax rate is only thirty percentage, so earning after taxes is seventy percentage. That is six lakhs ninety three thousand. Then we understand number of equity shares are fifty thousand. Then earning per share six ninety three upon fifty thousand, so it is thirteen point eighty six. You may have a kind of query like this. That sir, can we do answer of the earning per share in this way? Then giving reply to that question, yes. The institute has given suggested answer. Wherein institute has accepted a point like this. That if at all we consider the degree of financial leverage one point thirty nine. Listen carefully. If at all we consider the degree of financial leverage one point thirty nine, then in that case it is implied. 
in that case it is implied that so the amount of the interest would be ebit 13 lakh 50000 minus ebt 971223 13 lakh 50000 minus 971223 so sir the amount of the interest would be 3 lakh 78000 777 this is what we understand and actually the amount of the interest is given to us in the question as 3 lakh 60000 only so institute has provided the suggested answer with a clarification that if at all you do answer like this then in that case we will give you full marks and if at all you do answer like this even in that case we will give you full marks that is what say they have clarified in the suggested answer so doing either of the working is acceptable in examination so ultimately what you have to do friends either you consider the dfl information 1.39 and you do answer or you ignore this and considering the interest amount 3 lakh 60 thousand you do answer. Institute has clearly specified doing answer by either of the method is acceptable to us. Next, uh, just a small note. In order to calculate answer, comma, either we consider DFL one point thirty nine or amount of interest provided in question full stop actually question should be formed in such a way so that both of them should match full stop however over here they do not match full stop as per icai suggested answer comma doing answer by either of the method is acceptable full stop personally i recommend that say consider dfl 1.39 for doing answer and ignore the actual interest this is what i suggest all of you personally to do answer the next question is calculation of the earning yield that is the next question try to do answer on your own so fourth question is basically all related with the concept of the ratio analysis earning yield 
it is basically calculated from an investor point of view earning yield calculated from investor point of view it is eps upon mps into 100 what is earning per share earning per share is 13.60 divided by market price of the share which is provided as 200 into 100 for getting answering percentage stuff so 13.6 divided by 200 into 200 that comes to 6.80 percentage this is the way the earning yield is calculated so basically the earning yield is indicating return to the equity shareholder that is to the investor in form of earning. 